welcome to desert succulent and today i will be giving you an update or a quick plant tour nung ating mga succulents and other ornamental plants for the month of april and i think it's been a long time since nag vlog ako dito sa area na ito and ito yung ating full filtered sunlight na area and dito ko nilalagay yung aking mga succulents na I'm trying to stress and as much as possible dito ko rin nilalagay yung mga succulents ko na ayoko ma-expose doon sa ating rain or shine area para mas ma-preserve natin yung kanilang mga farina like for example itong ating lawi and as much as possible kasi yung ating mga succulents dapat hindi talaga nababasa yung kanilang pinaka leaves so if you will be watering dapat sa pinaka soil talaga but syempre there are times wherein uh, kailangan kong basain yung kanilang pinaka leaves para matanggal yung mga dirt so, so simulan natin dito sa taas ito yung ating pandora you would see na nag start na siyang mag pink until now hindi ko pa rin siya dinidiligan it looks dehydrated pero yun talaga yung gusto kong i-achieve yung maging pink and mag close yung kanyang rosettes kaya until now hindi pa rin siya nadidiligan ito na yung ating niripot na bear paw just a couple of days ago kasama rin yung ating hairy butterfield i think kailangan na natin tong iripot kasi sobrang liit nung kanyang uh, container sa ngayon hindi niya na kayang isupport yung kanyang sarili kaya nakapatong siya dito sa pot nung ating bear paw and here this one is an imported one i think one month na siya sa atin or more than a month na siya sa atin and ito yung ginagamit kong plant stand sa kanila so ano lang to walis ting ting lang ito ayan so i think it really serves its purpose to support it and since stable na siya i'll just remove this today ayan so ang ganda ng kanyang pagka pink it really looks like yung parang mentos na candy and here yung ating mendoza na succulent nagsimula na siyang magkaroon ng flower i hope na mas dumami pa siya lalo it's also one of my favorite yung ating cremnosidum na ang dami niyang flower yung nakikita yung brown dyan those are already the dried ones and our neon breaker nandun pa rin sila and also this one ito na yung ating simbiformis look this one is the mother plant and lahat ng nakapalibot sa kanya are all its offsets ayan i think we also need to repot this as soon as possible kasi talagang na outgrow niya na yung kanyang container it's actually flowering ayan it's about to flower we have our shooting star this one is our crested luella Ayan, so tanggalin na rin natin itong mga plants dead na nilagay natin before kasi they are very stable na as of now. Ito yung ating mga imported succulents, the variegated bear paw, uh, the rainbow, ayan, doing great, our bluebird, and syempre yung ating lawi. Ayan, so so far ngayon, I didn't see any bloom yet dito sa ating tiger jaw and I'm really waiting for it na magbloom kasi it really gives us this very vibrant yellow na flower we have our champagne we also have these pink frills ayan in this angle you would really see its natural color under the sun ayan so this one is our pink oviferum pero until now hindi naman siya nag pink so i don't know kung talagang legit na pink ba talaga siya or hindi this is our elegance alba our variegated prolifica nandun Ayan. So most of them are already stable, kaya tinatanggal ko na itong kanilang uh, temporary na plant stand. Ito yung ating mensa na succulent. Yun ay kita yung parang matte na color dyan. Yan yung new growth niya. And yung parang darker side niya, these are the old leaves. And the reason why this one is darker is because of the neem oil na inapply ko sa kanya before. And that is something that you need to consider kasi yung ating neem oil... Uh, in some succulents, it will parang discolor. Ayan, gagawin niya silang parang blackish. Ganyan yung kanyang color. So, after that one, I decided to just pour yung ating mga neem oil directly dito. Yung ating neem oil kasi is a natural, all organic na fungicide. Pwede rin siya for pest control. Kaya gustong gusto ko siyang ginagamit if for maintenance lang naman. Ayan. Here, my albicans. Two-head albicans. And also this one, I wanted to share you the story of this. Kung nakikita ninyo ang dami niyang fungal attacks 
or fungal infection sa outer leaves. Yun yung nangyari sa kanya before but I applied nga yung ating Torogi Blue na Broad Spectrum Fungicide. Ayan, nakikita nyo pa yung mga blue stains sa ilalim. And after that one, you would see na yung kanyang pinaka growth or new growth here sa gitna are already very healthy and I'm really happy. So even if na may mga marks na ganyan yung ating old leaf, I'm not worried now kasi they are already treated as evident nga na yung kanyang pinaka reset are already healthy. So in time, lahat ng leaves na yan will dry and mapapalitan sila nitong ating mga healthy na leaves. And here we have our sedum clavatum doing great siya under these filtered area. Mas dumami pa yung flower stalks and flower bloom sa kanya. Ayan. And here I have my one and only variegated titubans. So one head lang siya before but nakikita ninyo. Ayan. Doon sa baba nagkaroon na rin siya ng offset. And yes, I hope now we can propagate this more. Our chihuahuensis or yung ating cat's claw our choco soldier, yung ating kiwi na ang tagal ilang months before I was able to successfully na maging colorful siya. And doon sa likod, those are just some of my other succulents na pinapalaki ko pa sila. Ayan, so this is how it looks like. And dito nga sa baba nila, I have here yung ating pink butterfly. Dito lang siya nakalagay and most of the time, nasasagi ko nga siya. Kaya, ang daming nauhulog. And here, sa baba, I have my string of turtles. Ito yung finiture natin before sa ating care guide. And look at this now. Ito yung kamay ko. Ayan. So, ganyan na siya kalaki. Ganyan na siya kalago. Ayan. And it's already trailing. Pababa. Ayan. And also, here, yung ating soil mix na ginawa nating DIY experiment before. And let's try to check if my resistance na. Kasi if my resistance na, it means na nag-start na siyang mag-root. So, here, my resistance na. Okay, my resistance na din. Ito, wala pa masyadong resistance. This is yung ating loam soil. Ito medyo lang din. This is our cocoa peat. And yung garden soil. Ayan. Yung garden soil natin sobrang kapit niya na. I can really feel the resistance. Yung medyo established na yung kanilang roots is itong ating garden soil. Yung ginawa nating DIY soil mix. And yung ating vermicompost. While itong ating loam soil at saka pure cocoa peat. I can easily uproot them. Ayan o. Oh. Ganyan pa lang siguro yung roots nila. Ayan. Ganyan pa lang yung kanilang roots. And I don't want to do that pero kasi sobrang dali niyang maugot. After this area, punta naman tayo dito sa ating rain or shine na area. And to start, we have itong ating Wendermanny na succulent. Unfortunately ngayon, wala siyang flower. But this one has a parang purplish pink na color similar to that of a portulaca. Ayan, so this is now our view. So ito na yung mga exposed talaga sa rain or shine area. Ayan, so this one na is our baby sun rose. And yung ating prolifica doon naman sa isang head planter. And here, so yung ating portulaca tricolor look at how beautiful yung kanyang color under the sun. So ganito yung kanyang flower. Ayan. Ayan, so I have jade plants doon sa likod look at the color pag stress sila or exposed sa sun. So parang yellowish green and at the same time yung kanilang tips is reddish in color. This one is our ghosty na plant and again yung parang whitish dyan, yan na yung pinaka new growth nya and those parang dark na part yun yung ating neem oil before so it can really affect the color ng ating plant kaya don't use neem oil directly sa inyong mga plants, especially if they have yung mga farina, whether makapal yan or uh, hindi. Our panda plant is over there.
Ayan, look at this. Yung ating Fed Shang Koi. Ang dami niyang offsets. And pink na pink din yung kanilang pinaka offset. This one is our Atomi and it's really one of those perfectly looking na succulent. Sobrang gandang ganda talaga ako sa kanya. Ayan no. Especially yung kanyang pinaka rosette. It's really perfect. We have our black prints. Ayan. Our fancy clear. And yes. Ito. Yung ating tricolor again. And may nagtanong sa atin before paano natin daw siya gawing parang compact or malago all you need to do is keep on pruning so if you will prune this one there will be multiple offsets na tutubo dyan. then you can achieve this kind of compact na shape this is our prolifica ayan so a big pot of our prolifica very nice and isa ito sa mga succulents na talagang uh, malakas yung kanyang amoy. It's very similar to sedum clavatum, parang berry or berry candy smell. Ito, our mirine, and doon sa likod niya, we have another kind of ionium. Ayan, so ganyan lang yung color niya, it's green and red lang siya, even it's already stressed. Our morning beauty, ayan, you can see the blue stains, but that's okay as long as healthy yung ating succulent and sa likod niya we have our sedum aurora i hope you can fully stress them and maging red na sila here is yung ating cupid before na nagkaroon ng stem rot look at how stable it is under the sun our green eye succulent or ice green succulent and so i think i will be making a care guide about this very soon so ganito yung kanyang flower as of the moment. So, ganyan na yung arrangement na ginawa natin before. And here, yung ating barbecue. Dito naman sa baba, I have again our ghosty cyclone, our nevada, our marpin. Ito, this one is a cactus and hindi ko alam ko anong klaseng cactus siya. It has these kind of flowers. Ayan. And dito sa pinakababa, this is where I put yung ating mga cacti. Ayan, so I'm not really a big fan of our cacti, pero look, ang gaganda ng flowers pala nila, especially this one. Ayan, no? we have four flowers or five flowers na tumutubo sa kanya. This one is Mirene, may nahulog sigurong leaf chan. Ayan, moonstones, and kung ano-ano pa. Nandito rin yung ating mga mayana plants. Ayan, isama ko na sila, lahat sila nagpa-flower na. Ayan, and so far, I'm addicted to collecting Mayana plants, yung different species, kaya bigla silang dumami. Mm -hmm.